coming out of spring, you weren't listed as one of the starters. Do you feel like you've had a strong enough camp that you're back in that in that uh, conversation? Uh, I don't know. It's it's up to the coaches. Um, you know whether whether or not I start or not, or if Skyler starts or whoever starts. You know we're all going to play. Mm -hmm. We're going fast enough that you know one guy is going to run three plays and we'll cycle through. And I think. Uh, whether you're first, fourth string, you're gonna you're gonna get your plays regardless. So, uh, you know, right now I, I I'm just doing what I can do, and you know I, I try to score every day, try to get a lot of catches to to do that. But um, uh, right now, you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter who starts. Everybody's gonna play. Talk about Texas. Did you get Texas circled on your calendar? Oh, yeah, always. You know, uh, when we played them a couple of years back, that was that was really fun. <laughs> But uh, they get to come down here and, and play us in, in our stadium and in our elevation, and they'll, they'll see how it is to, to run out here. It's, it's going to be a fun game. I can't wait to play. They're playing a fast-paced offense, too, much like you guys are. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be much like ours. Ours is <laughs> ours is uh, really fast. And, um, you know, our, our defense, we, they practice against it every day, so I don't think it'll be a – be a big adjustment for them. You have an old guys. you have an old friend coming back. You just got admitted to BYU. Talk mm -hmm. about Teo Fabaluge and him coming back. Uh, I think that's a that's a big plus. He's a he's a huge dude, and uh, he he did some good things at TCU last year. And uh, you know, I can't I can't wait to play with him again. Yeah. When you heard about that, and he got admitted, were you excited? Oh yeah, I was excited, and he uh, he kind of talked to me a little bit about it, and you know, I I told him I was like, if you need anything, you know, just just let me know, and I'll, I'll help you. And we're we're all excited that that we got him back. You why? Guys, he, why is it's just kind of strange, you know, on the surface, guy leaves here and comes back. Why has he kind of shared with you why he wanted to come back? After? Um, I think just he he had he had a lot of close friends here. You know, his, this was the, his first school, and. Uh, I think he was just listening to the wrong people that were telling him to, to come back to to the area he lived in, and uh, I don't think those people are in his life anymore. And he uh, he came back from our wedding and ended up staying for like three weeks, and <laughs> he missed everybody, and now he's he's back and he's happy. Yeah, he was also real close with Bronson and a lot of other guys. Yeah, Kyle yeah, Collinsworth. He's, and yeah, he's he's close with some of the basketball guys too, and they they hang out every day. And I I see him every now and then, but he's he's always out with those the single guys. Yeah, going back to Texas, do you have any friends there that you that, that are on the team in Texas that uh, you're looking forward to playing against? I, I don't know. Uh, I have to look at the rosters and see who's still there. There's probably a couple guys that went to the league and a couple guys that transferred out, but uh, um, I have to look at the roster and see who's still on the team. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to ask you about, um, I was talking to, to uh, <laughs> Kyle about the relationship that he and Cody had with him. <laughs> and Kyle was like, well, Ross and I were hanging out. And Cody kind of joined us. Kind of how did, how did the friendships develop as far as the um, three of you? Because you guys are pretty good friends. Yeah, well, me and Kyle, we... We were we our friendship started and we I think I was in ninth grade and uh, there's a little BYU camp and we came out here and uh, you know we just started talking and he was playing receiver at the time and then when uh, when we both got here we we uh, requested to be roommates so me and Kyle were roommates for like the first two years and then um, and then we you know we kind of met Cody and he like I said earlier he doesn't really talk much and so. You know, we, we got him to open up and talk, and, uh, and then next thing you know, all three of us started hanging out a lot, and now we, now we hang out almost every day, I guess. Those are two of the best guys in the team. I don't think there's any excuse. Yes. I mean, any, any argument with that. As far as this year, what do you expect from them coming back for their senior years and being, being a part of this team this season? Um, the same thing they've done the past three years, you know, just just dominate games and, and put up big numbers. Uh, I don't, I don't see it being being any different than than the, the last couple of years, and maybe even better. Uh, they worked hard over the summer, and you know, Kyle. He, a lot of people say he's like he's, he's too skinny. If you look at his arms, they look like my legs. He, he's gotten huge, and you know, Cody's gotten thick too, upper body, and uh, I think they'll just come back and ball out again. So as far as renewing themselves, because you don't come back just to do the same thing. You come back to be better, yeah, like you pointed exactly. out. What do they have to do in that sense to renew who they, you know, kind of who they've become and, and, and even improve on that? Um, 
in Cody's case, I guess just just get more catches and more touchdowns, you know. Uh, Kyle, he he's done things, you know. He's scoring touchdowns on on defense, and you know he's he's gonna have a, a hard a hard plate to fill up because he, he he did a lot last year. But you know it, it's possible. And I was just talking to Kyle in the locker room like five minutes ago. He's like, man, I've been having these dreams about football. Like I'm gonna tip the ball up and score. And you know he that's just the guy he is, and he dreams about making plays. So. I, uh, I don't see why why you wouldn't have a better season next year.